everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Violet and I'm the other half of two sisters makeup today's video we are finally gonna be using and talking about and trying and seeing what the dealio what the 411 is on the Ali Oop 4-in-1 multitasking brush this is the one I received in my Christmas haul which if you missed that I will link it in the description box below um, so there is four little um, brushes so we're gonna give them all a test today we're gonna see um, if this really works and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I did wet the side of the um, sponge applicator, so it is more full, it's more puffy. I normally do that with like any other beauty sponge, and I'm just going to kind of dot them. And you have to work fast with this one because gravity takes its toll here. All right, so I'm just gonna go with this side, and I'm gonna just apply it like normal. just finished applying my foundation with the beauty sponge part of the brush um, I can't really notice a lot of foundation like caked onto it or soaked up um, it does get kind of messy like at the base of it there is some foundation there but it applied my foundation like a beauty sponge so far this brush it applied my foundation really nicely I am gonna try and use this for concealer for my cream bronzer um, and blush <laughs> sort of like a liner eyebrow brush but I figured I could go ahead and use it in my eyeshadow look so not necessarily specifically for the brows it can be used for the eyes as well and then the other brush I have left is a more flat um, packing shader brush with a little bit of fluff to it I'm just going to do my eyeshadow as normal I'm not really going to talk through what I'm doing <laughs> on anything that I used um, in today's makeup look. I will have it posted on my Instagram account. Just kind of look for this sweater, this sort of overall face, um, and you'll kind of know the face details. But I wanted to just quickly come back on here and talk about um, my quick first impression thoughts on each of the pieces um, that are in the Ali Oop 4-in-1 Multitasker brush. Starting off with the sponge, I like it. I do like that this is easy to use. Um, getting like right here in the like inner corner part of your eye is is a little difficult to get there but you know it can definitely blend and it blends out easily out here around the nose around the rest of my face not having to grab a dirty sponge every single time to blend out my um, face products that's the only reason why sometimes I hate using sponges when they start to get you know filled and soaked up with so much liquid um, or you know just products in general it just gets more dirty and on your hands and so like it just it'll dirty up everything it just it becomes a mess so I really appreciate that uh, next up is this um, I think it's like a powder contour sort of brush um, it is shaped more of like a bronzer blush brush sort of thing um, but for this one I did use it to blend out my cream bronzer and my cream blush but I feel like this one did a pretty decent job with blending out my cream bronzer um, it did take a little bit more effort I feel like it is on the more like lighter spectrum of blending it out you can still see some of the bronzer um, it did blend out my uh, blush as well um, but yeah so I will have to keep giving this one a try um, for those type of products for the ways that I use them but overall I mean it's not bad um, I really liked it having to just flip over the brush and just use this on the other side so so far no complaints next up is I'm gonna think I'll talk about this side first and then we'll get to the bottom part but the top part is more of like I said before um, if it's included in this video it's more of like a flat shader brush packing brush with just a little bit of get this one did blend really nicely I didn't have any problems it applied my um, 
my powders. My shadows pretty nicely, um, pretty well as, um, also. Um, it did create this really easy look. I mean, it's not too crazy. It's a really light, simple glam. Um, but I used this for all of the shades, pretty much, except for the one on the inner corner. Um, and it created this eye look. Um, of course, I do have to say that if you're the type of person that likes to create a more, I don't want to say bolder, but more, I guess, more shadow heavy, um, likes to do half cut creases, likes to do halo eyes, etc. I don't think that this brush is going to work for that. I'd have to say that this brush is more for the person that doesn't like to wear a lot of shadow on the eyes, likes to create something simple like this. Of course, the last little brush, which is more of like a brow sort of brush or um, an angled liner, just kind of either or. You can just depends on what you use more. But this one applied nicely. It held up. It's firm. Um, it definitely gave me a nice little like um, shadow wing. No problems there. Um, really nothing else much to say. Really not too much negative about any of these. I'm actually really pleased with everything. Um, so, so far this brush might be a go-to. Again, we will see as I update and as I use it more. Um, and I will definitely keep all updated as well, either on here or on my Instagram, so just kind of check both. Thank you guys so much for watching this little mini tutorial using the new brush I got for Christmas. Let me know if you've tried Ali Oop. Um, is there any other product you recommend from them? Have you tried this specific one? Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments down below, and I would love to chat with you down there. As always, have an awesome rest of your day and or week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.